Hi, this is Ian Mitchell with Snome Americas. I'm going to show off a quick use case for our M500. Now, you might want to set up your um, phone system to where you only have like maybe one or two accounts. And of course, this is leveraging our Keyline emulation. So you can have one SIP account that is visible on all of our devices. And we actually index the calls, let's say calls one through four. So what that looks like, when we see here on our main desk phone, is we've got the um, lines one through four indexed, and we're using that business extension 1030, but we're also using decked busy monitoring. So we can see over here that we have our handsets um, and uh, other devices labeled. So we've got um, Jeff for handset two, parts handset three, we have our manager phone uh, four, and then also the garage as five. And the busy monitoring allows us to see if the person's actually on a call, but it also gives us a quick way in order to transfer the call when one comes in. So we can see when that first call comes in, visibly all the phones um, do indicate that your call is there, but only this main front desk is the one that is actually ringing. So if we answer the call here, and then we do find out that, okay, this is actually a call that would be for, let's say Jeff, um, without even having to hold the call first, we can just simply hit the um, button for Jeff that will automatically hold the call and it will ring Jeff's extension. So at this point, and then it'll place the intercom call to Jeff. So I can see on my handset that I've got the incoming call. So I can go ahead and answer it and talk to the person. They'll let me know that I have that call holding on line one. Okay, thanks. Sounds good. Go ahead and end that call. And then I get the indicator, the flashing one over here. So I can go ahead and just push that button in order to answer the call. And then if I did need to transfer this call to somebody else, maybe that needs to go to the garage, um, but maybe I don't wanna call the person, I just wanna do a page. Well, I could just hold the call up here. And again, it goes back so we can see that it's flashing on one. And then I can use the side button over here in order to initiate a page. So I'll just go ahead and hit that button and then we can go into maybe do a page for all or for everyone. And then just announce that uh, garage, you have a call on line one. Garage, you have a call on line one. And then you can go ahead and hang up the call over there. And then of course the garage phone, if we see that handset over here, they can get the flashing indicator as well. They can just hit that button in order to answer the call. So in order to selectively silence the ringer, if we look at this um, desk set here, this is the manager phone. And what we'll notice is um, we actually do have a private line for them. So they have the, the 1030 set up, index one through four, but they do have a private extension because they are the manager. So maybe they get their own um, extension and their own voicemail and DID. But if we wanna silence um, that main extension, we can just go into the menu here. And then if we navigate down to um, the settings, and then user settings, just go down to audio and change the ringers. And then the ringtone, you'll notice that we do have options to basically set the ringtone um, per type of call. So you can set the ringer for the intercom, for um, that 1030, that main extension, or 1034, your own private extension. So we notice for 1034, I've got that particular ringer set. But then if we go to 1030, we simply have this set to no ringer. And that's what allows us um, to basically uh, get access to those lines, but not actually have it um, bother us or anything like that. So on the handset, it's pretty similar. So we notice the same thing if we just go into the menu and then we can go over to our settings and then down to user settings and then over to audio, um, same menu structure. So we go to ringers and then we noticed uh, ringtone and then we can specify between our intercom ringer and then um, the main extension. So we just go to the main extension and just make sure that we're specified on no ringer instead of any of the tones. And as long as we have that set, um, that way when we get those calls, uh, it, you know, our intercom call will still have a ringer, but the main 1030 just won't have the audible ringtone. But again, we still have access to the lines themselves with a single push of a button.